Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here bringing you guys another video and today I got to talk about Madden 25 and give you guys my honest like to God just review of this game and you may be wondering Austin the game's barely been out over a day. How can you possibly give it a review? Because there's nothing different about it than Madden 25. I actually think it's gotten worse in some ways if we're being honest so I, I made a list here. I literally wrote down all the things that I wanted to talk about the things that just bugged me so badly when I played this game because I was low-key optimistic for Madden 25. You know, they're saying this is a make or break year. They say that literally every year. But College Football 25 just came out. I loved College Football 25. I put so many hours into it. I've had so much fun with it. And I was thinking, you know what? Maybe they're going to cook with this game. Maybe this game is actually going to be, you know, a good Madden. I haven't had a Madden that I've truly, truly loved playing since, like, Madden 12. Like, genuinely. All the other ones have been pretty ass. I mean, there have been some that I've, you know, had fun on. Like, I put a lot of hours into Madden 20, but it's not a good game, you know? So, I loaded this game up, and I literally, the first thing I did was stream it. Uh, the stream's on my channel. It was the first episode of the Superstar series, and because the game's so bad, I don't even know if I'm going to continue that series. I'm thinking about just making a highlight montage. But, you know, uh, we're just going to get the stuff with Franchise out of the way first, and we're going to focus on Superstar, because that's the mode that's really pissing me off, really. But Franchise, it is the exact same as the year before. There's a couple new screens, a couple new stats. Everything else is the exact same, uh, aside from some new scenarios, I guess. But there's a lot of features from the Maddens from the PS2 that still aren't in. You know, this Madden that costs $70 on the PlayStation 5, there's missing features everywhere. Um, and it's just, it's sad, man. It, it truly is sad. The mode is still hollow. Uh, it has a couple new, like, you know, stats that they show you, a couple new menus that you can look through. But, uh, you know, compared to Dynasty mode, it's just empty. It's just empty. Uh, I will say I haven't tried the new draft, so maybe the new draft process is cool, but, you know, the graphics and the player models are still absolutely horrendous. Um, look at J.J. McCarthy's model. If you draft him in a fantasy draft, it is a fucking joke. Um... And honestly, just the gameplay overall, I know they were like, this is going to be a more physics-based Madden because they heard everyone loves the physics-based tackling in College Football 25. So it's such a breath of fresh air. The movement is so fluid. You can pull off catches and runs in college football that you see all the time in real life that you can never pull off in Madden just because Madden just sucks you into animations. And that's how this game is too. There are so many times where you will have a lane that you could get through in College Football 25 or a clear running lane that people in the real life in the NFL can run through and you get sucked into an arm tackle every single time the animations based tackling is atrocious as usual there are just plays where you know you would be gone for a touchdown pretty much in college football 25 but because this game just is so animations based i mean they say it's more physics the only physics part is is based on the physics of the play that you're on you'd get a different animation on the tackle right but it's still heavily animation based and it's just doesn't feel nearly as good so you're put in a position where, in a gameplay sense, why would you play this game when you could just play College Football 25, which has better and more fluid gameplay? What does this game have over the previous game? Like, what does Madden have that makes you say, oh man, I gotta play, I gotta play this game, you know, over College Football 25? There's nothing. There's really nothing that I can think of. And now, let's get to the real just crux of this, the anger that I got in this video, and that's Superstar mode. So if you guys know, I streamed an entire Road to Glory series. We did the Will Redford career in Road to Glory. And it did really well on my channel. You guys were invested. There was a lot of new people that came into the chat. They were really hyped about it. And I literally did the entire career. Streamed every single game we played, all the way up to the point where you're getting drafted. So I was like, I gotta buy Madden 25 solely because you can make your Road to Glory character in Superstar. You can upload them, which you could do back in the day. And I'm thinking, oh my god, it's going to be so fun. Just imagine with some of the Road to Glory features like coaches, trust, and all that returning. Oh, you know, Superstar mode is going to be so much better. They got rid of everything. Everything that they added in Road to Glory that made it so cool. You, you like the fact that you could only pay a couple plays because, you know, you were a freshman quarterback or you're a rookie quarterback, so obviously your coach wouldn't give you the full pay playbook. That's gone. Oh, you like coaches trust? That's gone. Like, did you like the fucking, you know, loud crowd, the shaky screen, and the crowd meter? Yeah, it's not a thing. You know, uh, yeah, the crowd gets loud, and you have that the same, but all the immersion is gone. And, you know, there's no position battles either. 
Like, position battles are some of the most hype moments on my streams. If you go back to them, whenever we had position battles, when we switched or transferred to North Texas, then we had them at Bowling Green, like, they were fun. You actually felt some form of progression. You felt like you were working your way up the death chart. At Madden, you get drafted and you're the starter. I was a 66 overall QB. You can check the stream. 66 overall, got drafted to the Seahawks, and I'm starting over 78 overall Geno Smith. I don't care if I'm marked the future of the franchise i'm a 66 overall a 78 should be starting that's a 12 overall jump or at least make me have a position battle or make me gain some overall to do it it's just bad it's really bad and it's just it's a huge disappointment you know there's no like workouts in the middle of the week unless i'm missing it like unless it's like hidden behind some you know tab but the only thing that you get are these little quote-unquote workouts where it gives you like plus five strength but minus five speed why like some of the trade-offs are terrible it's like you get plus five throw power but minus five medium accuracy it's like why would i do that it doesn't make any sense so there's no workouts in the middle of the week to love your level your uh you know avatar up like there was in college football and like there was in madden 23 i don't know why they got rid of that it's just all right sorry not madden 23 but madden 24 it's just they got rid of a bunch of features and i'm sure they're going to sell it back to us in a couple of years with like you can now do tr uh trading drills in the middle of the week for a superstar character like it's just so lame you know ea does this every couple of years where they get rid of a feature that people like and they sell it back to us a couple of years later i mean got rid of the pro bowl sold it back as a main point in madden 20 got rid of next gen stats from madden 21 i'm sure we're going to get them here in a couple of years again they got rid of fucking stats popping up in the middle of the screen during the game. They kind of brought that back. Even the no huddle where you run up to the ball is gone. It's just a fake fucking screen like in Madden 24. So there's no immersion. You don't feel like you're in the game. Like, obviously, I'm not going to think I'm the fucking quarterback. But immersion is so big in video games. And, you know, if I talk about, you know, other games, right? Like, if we're talking about non-sports games, like, I look at Dead Space. is a great game that is pure immersion. The environments are gorgeous, right? And if we're looking at other sports games... Look at College Football 25, different unique intros for each team based on the school tradition, different celebrations depending on what kind of a bowl game you're in, different uniforms, different playbooks, different route combinations for different schools, you know, option-based playbooks for option-based schools. Like, you get none of that here. The playbooks are the exact fucking same. Like, they're just lame. The Cowboys are always going to be nasty because they have the most overpowered playbook in fucking Madden. So it's just the same game every other year. This one is probably worse than the last one, you know? And again, I have, the game's only been out for what? It's been out technically for a week if you got early access. I didn't get early access. I didn't give a fuck about this game. I got it on launch night because I was hoping it was going to be better, and I wanted to stream that Superstar series because we had a lot of fun with it in, you know, College Football 25. But, um, you know, this game's just bad. It's really rough, and um, I'm not impressed. I'm going to be playing College Football 25 for the rest of the year. I will not be worrying about Madden probably. I might make a highlight tape or two, maybe a stream or two of the Will Redford Superstar mode, but that's about it, man. I'm um, just really disappointed with this game. Just very disappointing. But I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on the road to 1,500 subscribers. Let me know what you think about Madden 25. Have you even played it yet? Are you even going to play it? Do you love the game? Do you disagree with everything I say? I'd love to hear what you guys think because, after all, my opinion is not the end-all, be-all. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. This is Austin, and I'm out. Go Bengals.